Fantasia's been playing a couple different characters today, so he's opting in for the Samus right now, and Dagon's gonna go with the tried and true Terry. Already off to an early start, Fantasia's getting some good damage onto Dagon. That out of shield up, he is pretty strong for Samus. Dagon's taking strong damage and not really matching all of it, but. It is Terry, so we can make it back pretty quickly here as long as he plays his cards right and doesn't get zoned out by uh, Fantasia. And just like that, it's going to be even. Last hit of Fair is going to catch Dagu in there. And Dagu going to take the first stock at 93%. He'll confirm into side B. And now he has go meter. Which means it's going to be a little bit tough for Fantasia to not take a lot of percent early on. Although Fantasia has not taken any percent. And there it is. Dagon's racking up the percent pretty quickly now. Or at least off those few, few hits. Going to kill 161. Diggins at 161. He has max rage and he has go meter. He can get a lot of damage really, really fast here. No with punish on the missed up beam. Two hundred percent. Diggins living for a long, long time here. But realistically, yep. Any move could have killed him, though. But Diggins still has an advantage at 64% on Fantasia. That out of shield is going to be really, really helpful for Fantasia in this matchup. And now the question is... Whether or not... Fantasia can get some percent to make it even before Dagon takes the, the second stock. But it's looking closer and closer to Dagon taking the first stock. Ow. And not quite a kill yet. Fantasia has the right DI, was able to avoid the up B. Fantasia now has max rage as well. However, that one's going to take it. Yep. Now we're down to 2-1 to one stock. Dagon has quite a lead here, so Fantasia's going to need to make up some ground using some zoning tools. And that up the out of shield that's been so helpful to him so far. The more percent Dagon can get here, the more likely it is that he takes it. However, once again, Fantasia with that up beam. Oh yeah, that is absolutely true. Not just going back. Go meter has not actually been extremely helpful in this set so far. Um, however, it absolutely can be. It can even if Fantasia starts to get the uh, upper hand, it can turn the turn the tide. And speaking of which, Dagon now has go meter. He just has to get Fantasia up in percent until he is eventually able to tear through his uh, percent with that go. 
Fantasia doing a great job of zoning him out, though, so that he's not able to get close enough. But if Dagoon is able to get close enough and get some extra percent on there, there's a trade there, then it could go towards Dagoon. The spot dodge will net Dagoon with free throw. This... nope. Up B going to cause a lot of percent to be taken by Fantasia. One go move is realistically all it takes here with Terry having as much rage as he has. In it. Ooh! Either a spot dodge or just SDIing out of it. Fantasia was able to avoid the power geyser. And the fully charged energy ball is going to. Yeah! Oh no, this is what it is. Oh wait, maybe not. Oh, it still says losers round three. I didn't get that. Is it on this one? Oh, gotcha. I got everything but that. <laughs> I think this is Winter Semis. Winter Semis? Oh, so this is a best 3 out of 5 as well. Well, it would be best of 3. Just because here we're only doing top 3 best of 5. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. I think this is Semis. Alright. Fantasia still at a pretty big disadvantage here, but Terry, Degu not having the go meter required to close this out right now. But realistically, anything can do it to Samus at that point. Up Smash will take it. And that is going to bring us to game 2. There we go. I am here. <laughs> I'm not saying much, but I am here. <laughs> what? That's not Sock. That's Sock. He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know anyone's tags right now. <laughs> Alright, looks like Fantasia's gonna stay on the Samus, and Dagon is going to stay on the Terry. They're going back to PS2. I would assume they just gentlemen to it. They both enjoy the stage quite a bit. Ooh. Dagon almost not making it back to stage. And once again, Fantasia with that upbeat. Fantasia's getting early lead going on here. Oh, well, Do you know Terry? Terry just even Terry's out. combos, he Terry can even, even them out pretty quickly. Evens out of one interaction. <laughs> Fantasia bringing it back up a little bit more, though. And Dagoon avoiding the almost, I believe, fully charged energy ball there. Oh, that up out of shield that's been serving Fantasia super well throughout this entire set. Harry from Dagoon is not going to net him much. So, B reverse and turn one on the other side of Dagoon. Oh lord. Yeah, it is worth noting here, Dagon can get a good combo that includes yes, his go meter, exactly. And he he can even this up extremely quick. And he is at 7. <laughs> He's, if, as long as he doesn't allow himself to get zoned out, he should be able to close the percent gap here pretty quickly using that go meter. But that up the out of shield for Fantasia is going to send Dagon flying. Not quite a kill yet. Ooh. Ooh! Stops the, the, the crack shoot, I think that's what it's called, with the, yeah. the charge shot. It beats the uh, crack shoot. And that's gonna be the first stock of this game. Dagon needs to get this stock here before he takes too much percent. And that <laughs> spike is gonna do it! This is pretty even right now, especially now. However, it looks like Fantasia's gonna be able to give himself even more of an advantage here. That bear is going to do a lot of damage. Dagon's up there, going to get a little bit more percent, but this is about a 70% gap here. Now Terry has go. Although it's not going to matter because Fantasia, that up I believe that was up tilt. I don't know though. I think down tilt is uh, like a sweeping, yeah. sweeping kind of move. Fantasia with that up the other shield again. Not going to do much. Dagoon is taking a lot of percent and can't really seem to close the gap here. It's looking like Fantasia's out of shield options and projectiles are zoning out pretty well. With the last hit there, catching Fantasia. Oh, he falls out of the power dunk. I don't. Is it, it, it is it, power dunk, yeah. It was an interesting option going for power dunk there. This could be it? Not quite. Power Dunk maybe would 
have killed her. I don't know, Samus is pretty darn heavy, so... Jager needs to close this gap really quickly and stay alive as long as he can. There it is, the up smash is going to take that, bringing us to one stock on one stock with Fantasia having a significant lead and Dagonet almost 100%. However, it is worth noting that once he gets to 100%, he now has go. So he can close this gap pretty quick. He's landing all of his projectiles That right charge now. neutral B is not going to do it quick. It's too much, too much going on right now. All about that. So up the out of shield. Kill. Once again, it's serving Fantasia extremely well in the energy ball. Not quite. Dagon has the DI. Parry, not quite gonna end it. He's taking the a little shoot. bit slow. You don't have to go under it. Oh! Ooh, the power guys are at the end of it, not quite hitting. Anything Fantasia does here should kill. Oh, that's yeah, gonna that, do it. That's gonna do. Fantasia Damn. using that up be a lot to put himself back into advantage and neutral and to clear stocks. So. That's I really gonna do it for him. I really like how Fantasia like mixes up his movement with the charge shot and the the Zare. Yeah, it's really hard to predict, especially uh, when you're a character who realistically has to get pretty close to do much, other than Terry's uh, projectile. But it really doesn't stack up two Samus's. All right, sticking with the same characters. Looks like going back to PS2. Crab. Once again, Fantasia starting to get that early lead playing near the ledge, but Dagoon starting to even up a percent and even get himself a little bit of an advantage there. A projectile's going to chase him down while he goes to the other side of the stage to charge his own. And it looks like Dagoon is starting to uh, avoid the zoning that Samus is so good at. With moves like that and getting percent... Getting that, a percent lead. That crack is so fast and so hard to beat unless you have like a card shot ready. Yeah, exactly. Now it's going back to being in pretty even game. This could still be anyone's game. Get that upbeat from Fantasia. Keep oh. on doing that out of shield. There's not much day you can do against it. They're both playing very patiently right now. Oh, that's nice that. That back throw. That's gonna do something. Ooh, not quite enough though, because Dagoon's power dunk is going to do a lot of percent. Doesn't die. There's, no, there's no way. There's no way. Sam's too heavy for that. <laughs> it is getting closer though. Ooh, the whip well, punish. That's gonna be an up smash. That's going to kill from Asia. Missing. Missing. I guess that was a missing or something. Dagon just needs to get as much percent as he can now without Fantasia. Really close to go. Getting the first kill. Or the, his first. His first kill. Dagon now having go meter, however that he can rack up that percent really, really, really quickly. But it is a little bit dangerous to use on shield. Fantasia's doing a great job keeping the distance here, trying to get that, that first stock. Trying to stay out of the Terry zone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a little bit hard to do, though, because he does have a projectile. Oh. Matt Bear's gonna do a lot. 45% on his second stock. Dagon still at his first with Go Meter still. Back are not going to kill. And Dagon making it back to stage. Huh? Oh. Still makes it back. That Mirror is going to get a little bit more damage. The whip punish on that. Falling out of the power dunk again though. But they're not gonna kill quite yet. Dagon is starting to put himself into a very advantageous position here with his percent and stock lead. And Try doing the power, but buddy. Fantasia just shields all of it. Up is going to take that one. Terry's up airs, however, grant him quite a lot of damage. And realistically, he can win this pretty easily. Oh, like that. He went on the, other, went on the other side of being like the auto turnaround. Yeah, the auto turnaround <laughs> moved him back. Dagon's doing a great job of avoiding those projectiles with a shield. Carrying a lot of them as well. Oh, yeah. Power Dunk's gonna get him back down. Fantasia needs to play super, super careful here because anything can kill him as he gets that percent back up on Dagon. Dagon now has 
go meter. He's able to make it backstage. Fantasia doing an excellent job bringing it back to even. Both with two stocks left. And the up throw not quite going to kill. Terry's too heavy for that one. Oh, Dagoon's... I guess he must reverse it. Or... Could be. Dagoon doing a great job of these projectiles. And Fantasia also doing an excellent job avoiding the zone that Terry wants him to get into. Both of them just need to land any kill move, any kill confirm. And then the advantage is there. Oh, oh no, they do not with punishing. But the up the air going to start him. Uh, the up air okay. kill, okay. <laughs> Dagoon has a pretty big advantage here. <laughs> Partially due to the go. Oh, that's not quite going to do it though. Dagoon has the right PI for it. That one's gonna kill though, so now it's 0%, zero percent to zero percent. Game three, last stock. <laughs> this is anyone's game here. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna not as much as I thought we do, actually. We got a lot of that. Fantasia getting a really, really early percent lead on that last stock. Dagoon evening it up pretty quickly though. Oh, he wanted that he wanted that spike. Good job stopping that with the, the bomb drop. Ooh. Oh. You're gonna miss me up B. No whip punish quite here. Quite yet though. Dagoon whipping up smash, not gonna quite do it. Oh, Fantasia once again doing an excellent job using these projectiles to his advantage to Got him protect himself. The poor guys are. That's not. Not quite. We have such. Oh. It's such an even match. But the go. This could go either way here. The up smash. Much like a lot of the stocks he took so far, is going to take it. Oh, wow. Landshake from Fantasia on Dagoon as Dagoon takes the game. That was so and there close. it is. And then Terry happened. Yeah. <laughs>